What's up, everybody? It's No Joe Cow coming at you live from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, the heart of Southeast Asia, everybody. Yeah. I don't know what else to say right now. It's getting a little bit awkward. All right, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> what if I just did that? Like, what if I, 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 like, I, like, I felt so awkward, I just fucking blew my head off on camera. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, ha I, I guess Adrian would have to upload it on YouTube. But uh, I digress. I digress. This is a response email to a video I did a long time ago. The title of the email is Response to Passionate Sex in American Black Women. It, that was the title of my video, Passionate Sex in American Black Women. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and put the link up here in the video somewhere. And her, her name is Eleanor. Eleanor, I, I'm sure that's not how you say it in French. She's a French black lady. And she emailed me, so I'm just, I, the email's a bit long. Now, Eleanor, Eleanor, now, just because you're sexy, just because I think you're cute and everything, does not mean you can send me these long-ass emails, all right? I'm going to let this one slide because I think you're sexy. All right, you probably have a sexy French accent, but I digress. Let me, let me read your email real quick, and then we'll talk about what you said, and uh, I'm sure I'll just ramble and talk shit so all you guys can listen to me. All right, it says, hello. Hello. Uh, that bad? That's, that's, that's probably not a good French accent. Hello. Nah, I'm just gonna nah, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. I've been watching your videos almost all day, and I find you fascinating. Goddamn right you do. I find it very interesting the way you are working on yourself and growing your inner self. Wow, thank you. I mean that. Thank you, Eleanor. That's a very uh, insightful, I guess, in a a deep a, like a deep way to introduce yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. However. I'm not African American. I'm a French black woman. Okay, as as I said, so I can only provide you with feedback from my French perspective and experience. Interesting. I'm attracted to the type of man that you describe in your video. That is the kind of man that I, but I would say any woman is attracted to and once in her bed. Dot dot dot. And also, unfortunately, once in her life. Interesting how you say unfortunately once in her life. Why unfortunately? Because a passionate lover pretty much never makes uh, a life partner. Passion is not made for relationships on the long run. So from a, the moment a woman decides that she wants a life partner, passionate lovers tend to disappear from her. That's all. Now again, this is based on Eleanor's experience. So I guess Eleanor basically was getting some good dick. She was getting a D, getting some nice balls deep action. Some nice, <laughs> some some mm, some good some good powerful deep hip thrust right 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 down the. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna stop. Sorry, I don't want to make this too dirty. And but but and but in the long term that wasn't sustainable because maybe the relationship becomes more about the physical aspect. I don't know. Let me let me read the rest of the email. Uh, what to do now? Uh, who to go for now? The passionate lovers or one life partner? I, I must confess that I want a life partner who I feel sexually attracted to and with whom I uh, would have sex with the way you describe in your video. Not a passionate lover, but a man who can love deeply on the long run. Someone who I feel confident to be with. I think you already know that your video is not only about sex. Best regards, Eleanor. Now, Eleanor, first of all, I just want to say that your, your English is, is, is second to none. It's, I mean... Very, very, very uh, well put together email there. It's, uh, I mean, obviously, I know that a lot of French people are, you know, like well versed in English, but that was very, very well put. I feel like a fucking idiot now, even though I'm from America. So, so basically, Eleanor's saying this. She, she, she's saying that it's basically good sex or love. Now, is this the case for everybody? Probably not. I'm like Eleanor. I mean, I, I would like to think that I can meet somebody where we can have a passionate love life, you know, like in bed. And also, essentially, be best friends. I mean, that's pretty much what I want. Is I want a best friend who I can have awesome sex with, you know, passionately and be open and blah blah blah, and do it as much as we like. But Eleanor seems to be saying that. And Eleanor, correct me if I'm wrong. And, you know, if you want to email me again, correct me if I'm wrong. But you're basically saying uh, that it's either good dick or a good heart or something. I mean, I don't know. You you can't say that because you haven't met all men. I mean, like with the, like with my ex fiance, um, I always I always bring her up, man. I always bring up my ex fiance. I should probably stop doing that. 
because it kind of makes me live in the past a bit. But we'll just say the women I've been with in the past, I mean, there's been some where it would, the relationship was definitely more tied to sex. And then I've never been in a relationship where the sex wasn't good. Like, I can't, I can't be with somebody where we don't have good sex. It's just, it's just not going to work out. In fact, I have, in fact, I have been with this one woman like that. She was, uh, she was like Cameroonian. She was from Cameroon, but grew up in like Germany or some shit. So she was, she was kind of interesting, but like she was hot and everything, but the sex wasn't good. It just wasn't there. And I didn't really click with her uh, on a personal level anyway. So that just didn't really go too well. Like the only reason that I was with her is because I liked the fucker, and she gave awesome head. She she gave amazing blowjobs, but um, she would often get she she like wouldn't let me look at her pussy and like wouldn't let me eat her pussy out. I've met a few women like that that would that won't let me eat their pussy or don't don't want to like show me their pussy. They're like they, they, it freaks them out. I, I don't understand. Maybe they were molested. I don't know what the, what that's about. I'm I'm getting off track. But she's basically saying what to do now, who who should I go for now, the passionate lovers or one life partner? I mean, I mean, if I had to choose, basically if somebody, like if I had a girlfriend, it was only about sex, but there was no kind of like emotional fulfillment or, or like, a, like an intellectual fulfillment, but it, the sex was awesome or the opposite where the sex is essentially non-existent or it's, or it's just kind of like eh, average, like, oh, uh, uh. All right, I'm gonna have a sandwich now. I mean that that's not a good reaction to coming. Like when I fuck my girl, like I wanna be like I wanna be like tired. <laughs> I wanna like fall over next to her and just lay there and be like That was awesome. And then maybe fire up a cigarette. I don't know. I I, I don't wanna be like, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go on a walk now. You know what I mean? So honestly, dude. If I had to choose, I'd probably go with, man, that's tough. I'd probably have to go with the life partner, just, just in the long run. But Eleanor, man, I mean, you can't, you can't sit here and say that it's black and white like that. There's, there's definitely men out there where you can find both. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand, I guess, what you mean by the passionate lover pretty much never makes a life partner. I don't, I don't really... I mean, I guess maybe for your experience, like all the guys you've had that were passionate lovers ended up not working out for you. But are you saying that you've been with guys who weren't good in bed that were your life partner? I mean, like how old are you? I don't even know how old you are. I'm guessing maybe in your 30s or something, just based on the picture here. I don't know, Eleanor. I uh, really appreciate the email. And I think it's an interesting point you brought up. I hadn't really thought about it like that. Um, I think I think overall in life it's better to have somebody that deeply cares about you that you can really depend on. You shouldn't base your relationship off sex, um, but if that's what makes you happy, that's fine. Ideally, I'd like to have both uh, a good sexual relationship and uh, you know somebody that I can I, I essentially be best friends with, um, or you know just just get along with and communicate on a high level. So. Uh, that's all I really got to say about that. Um, so, Eleanor, <clears throat> if you ever come to Cambodia, I'm just saying, I mean, hit me up. No joke. Striking at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I'm No Joke Coward. I'm the baddest motherfucker in Phnom Penh. I do what I want. I say what I want, when I want, how I want. And uh, I still get paid. All right, guys, so no joke striking at gmail.com, bitches. That's no joke striking, Eleanor, Eleanor. That's no joke striking at gmail.com. Please send some more pictures. <laughs> Please send some more pictures. All right, anyways, guys, it was a pleasure speaking to you. All go fuck yourself. Peace.